Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek Welker and today we'll be discussing the File Open dialog. When opening up files from the SOLIDWORKS File Open menu, there are options that tend to get overlooked. First and foremost, in the bottom right corner, there are quick filters to help find the file type you are looking for. My favorite option is to filter top level assemblies. This hides all the other file types and even assemblies that are considered to be sub-assemblies. Selecting on the assembly allows us to change the open settings. Within the mode dialog, we have the ability to specify if we want to load the assembly resolved, lightweight, or large design review. Large assembly mode defaults over the specified value of components within your settings, but it does load components lightweight. Resolve brings in everything needed to modify components while lightweight only brings in the required data and the rest can be loaded on an as needed basis. Large design review is a way to load in the file graphically. This allows a file to be opened very quickly and usually designed to just view the model. Larger assemblies with long open times are the reason for large design review. It allows for you to quickly view the assembly and then load in the required components from there. The dialog below the open menu is the configuration selector. This removes the hassle of opening a part or assembly and having to load in another configuration after the fact. You can see that even exploded configurations are listed. Since configurations are an option, of course, display states are as well. Another ability is to not load hidden components. This is very helpful if a lot of components are hidden in a specific configuration or just in general. The file open time will decrease due to that. If you have a speed pack in configuration, there is an option to enable that as well. For those unfamiliar with speed pack, it is a way to remove lots of unnecessary information from your assembly in order to increase performance. Last but not least, we have the References button, which we'll take a look at. This lists all of the files referenced by the top level assembly and the location of each. If you are looking to replace a file with another, this is the place you can do that. Double clicking on the name will open a dialog to browse for that file. Selecting the Replace button in the upper right hand corner is a cumbersome process of replacing components, so I recommend using the double click and browse that I just showed. From this point, all of our options are selected and we can now open the assembly. Hopefully this tech tip taught you something new about the file open menu. Thank you for watching another CAD Dimensions tech tip. See you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.